everybody, welcome back to Is It Kino, your favorite movie and or film and or Velma review podcast. I am Simeon Jimmy, joined as always by the Florian Triangle himself, Florian Himsel. Yeah, I'm a triangle now. Welcome, everyone. I'm the Florian impression. Florian, when you were reading One Piece and there was a an area of the map named after you, did you jizz in your pants like you were Andy Samberg in a classic short skit? Um, wow, I, I don't even remember. I, I guess it was You don't really remember weird. jizzed in my pants, or you don't remember the Florian triangle? I don't, I don't know which I'd be more outraged felt. by. I, I, I don't even know if I've seen it. Damn. Have I seen that episode? Who knows? <laughs> oh, thriller Bark? I mean, uh, and we're oh, also yeah. joined by... Oh yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> from, uh, you know, maybe a region of our world that is similar to Thriller Bark. The one and only Weekend Warrior. Oh, hello, y'all. It's me, Weekend Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that Thailand is kind of like a horror field full of zombies? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. yeah. Now yeah, that you yeah, remind me, that that episode kind of sucked. I didn't like those zombies. I like how you're referring to, like, uh, an 80-episode arc as an episode. <laughs> like, it's fucking oh, villain of the week. worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thriller Bark is famously one of the worst pre-time skip arcs. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. I don't really care mm. for it myself. I mean, it's not bad. But hey, we're not here to talk about One Piece, unfortunately. <laughs> yep. Maybe one day. We are here instead to talk about what the fans voted for. Democracy came through yet again, Florian. Are you excited to hear the results of this poll? Oh, uh, this is not democracy. <laughs> You've changed the rules throughout. Mm. Like we, we, it's been we, so long, we, we nobody had... even remembers the business meeting. Nobody knows the controversy anymore. It's swept under the rug, <laughs> Florian. I think we all just agree that we are here to watch The Room. No, oh, we'll watch The Hobbit next time. We, we agreed on yeah. that. Be fun. That's ex- yeah. yeah, it's that's exciting. <laughs> Yeah, so if you if you really rules. wanted to hear us review Hobbit Battle of Five Armies Extended Edition, tune in next yeah. time because uh, <laughs> democracy. Uh, let's say democracy won and lost because uh, after Florian bitched, <laughs> the three of us had a vote, and uh, I did end up in the minority. So democracy <laughs> triumphed yet again, this time against me. Yeah, the, tyr- the tyranny of democracy. Yeah. Right yeah, there, you, you we, know, weekend you gave rid- in. You, you yeah. can't go no, for for. The- Go ahead. For the record, I hate both of you for making me watch <laughs> both these it. fucking movies. You don't like <laughs> the room. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> by the way, people were bitching like, oh, justice for Florian. Nobody wants to review the room. It's been overdone. <laughs> uh, we acknowledged this last time when we made the poll. Yeah, we know it's overdone, but Florian has never seen it. That's the whole point. It's a unique perspective. A man in 2023 has not seen this movie that we all saw fucking 15 years ago. So when did when did we can see it? I I think I watched it when the um, what do you call this? There was a popular oh um, disaster artists. No no no. Uh, Way back when people were mocking it like a pre-recorded nostalgia critic. uh, Nostalgia critic. um, Oh no. Some guy, it was three of them. What's he called? Mystery Science Theater guys mocked it. Oh, they did the room. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, I don't know if they. Oh no, no. Uh, something like them did did the room, and I watched that. That was really funny. So, yeah. And then you watched the room, and it was not funny. Well, hey, Florian, yeah. that's why we're here. Four minutes in, I'm dying yeah, to know. Florian Himsel, first time viewing. What did you think of Tommy Wiseau's hit film, The Room? Rated R. It was trash. I, I oh. hated it. it. No shit. <laughs> wow, know, right? fucking review it's, of the year. The Room was trash. Yeah, no shit, Florian. It, it, was, it was not enjoyable in any way. <laughs> I know, it's very... <laughs> you, you guys... Wow, revolutionary. You, you damn... Shocking. The, you, you damn the room apologist acting like it's this masterpiece everyone should see. You, you're all sick in the head. How dare you make me watch this? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, well that's, a, that's a bit extreme. I wow. think it's worth at least one viewing. Well, yeah, it's a crucible. I, the only reason why it's worth a viewing is because I watched The Disaster Artist, which was a decent movie, and it all made sense. So, mm-hmm. so that was good. 
I haven't watched the Disaster Artist, oh, but I have watched The Room now again. <laughs> <laughs> disaster Artist is worth watching, especially right after this weekend. I'd recommend you go check that one out. Um, but I'm just a, right. I'm a James Franco stan, so maybe that's why. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Florian, this movie, I think, did you not find any comedic value to it at all? No, not because really. Because it, it's, it's unintentionally so funny from beginning to end. No way. And like, you're allowed to laugh in it because it's not the intention of the filmmaker. So you, you don't have to give the film credit for doing something right. It's funny by mistake. Like that's why it's an enjoyable film. It's yeah, not doing yeah, anything I correctly. I, I did see the disaster artist where that was the takeaway, but I, I disagree. Well, that was the takeaway from every human being who saw the film. <laughs> <laughs> not not just what the disaster artist tried to retroactively put on it, Florian. I mean that's I mean it definitely doesn't achieve a high rating anywhere. So when so it's, it's, it's definitely not enjoyable to anyone. In the film, when the mother just drops this line to her daughter, uh, I got back from the doctor, I definitely have breast cancer, and the daughter like rolls her eyes, doesn't give a fuck, you did not burst out laughing. <laughs> I I kinda laugh, yeah. Of course everybody laughs at that! Everyone, yeah, Florian, guess. how dare you? Yeah, see, it's, I, I guess it's just, well, like, you you expect that sometimes you'll get, you'll hear bad news, and then you'll react inappropriately, <laughs> you know, and, and then you see it in the film, and what, what are you going to do? Ah, this poor girl, you know? But I guess it doesn't matter, because the, the reality does not line up, and the cancer disappears anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's never it's brought so up fun. again in the movie, yeah. Florian. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess canonically, she must just be faking it, and that's why she rolled her eyes, you know. Like, that might be a better inter interpretation of, of whatever the fuck we saw. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I guess. Can I say? I'll oh, go ahead. Okay, I say. Like, I have. Like, I remember writing down the scene. I, I remember. Not, I remember writing down some notes when I was watching it. Um, it was the first sex scene, which was a few minutes into the fucking movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I. I remember saying. I hate three people right now. I, I, I remember that. I hate Tommy Wiseau for thinking he was making such a deep masterpiece when it's really <laughs> such a fucking stupid script that he could have lessened this fucking movie if he just had an editor. I felt bad for the girl who showed her boobs for a role that she wasn't really fit for because re you really want that type of actress to look like, you know, a, a, a hot model that people will kill each other for like you are you, you trying to say lisa is over? not attractive to you lisa is cute she's not that girl the the hmm. the, the the trophy wife exotic girl or or like super hot girl that you you'd betray your best friend for but, she but feels she... like that girl next door that that's her vibe I mean, and lastly like last the takeaway would be that the girl next door could be that girl that does that so the one oh, who no, the, walks into their I house and starts oh, no. sucking dick on their couch, and then the mom walks in and they leave, <laughs> and he grabs his underwears. Well, La no, that's a different girl, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that girl actually, if she was a bit hotter, yeah. That. Yeah, the, I was that saying that. I think that might be the hotter nice, girl. Yeah. yeah, and finally, I hate myself for for watching this room shit again. So. <laughs> Aw, that's so. I, I love that's watching the room. Like I, I show it to people all the time. I I've probably seen this 20, 30 times. Do, do you know how fucking irresponsible the best friend guy is? Like he keeps blaming the Mark. girl. Well, he's, Why he's are you making me sleep with you? <laughs> like every, every character like becomes a different character at some point in the script, and it's not acknowledged why or how they changed. He's completely you, find, uh, like 180 from their previous attitude in the scene before. Do you, do you find it funny that they all go? We don't care about you. We we're afraid of Johnny for for what you're doing at the finale, a part of the fucking show of the fucking movie. Well, yeah, Johnny is the he's the hero, and everybody loves yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, Lisa's a yeah. huge bitch for doing this to him, and I agree. Why? Like he did nothing wrong, and she is just so <laughs> horrible bitch. That's the point of the film. Up with I mean, up with this world. But, but realistically, like, n nothing that anyone did was too bad, except for the guy who killed himself for no goddamn reason. <laughs> no, because like, everyone Jesus betrayed him! <laughs> he was Jesus fed up with the world! This world! You had two people that betrayed you, come on! That's everyone to him. Lisa was his yeah. world, you have to understand, Florian. 
Yeah, well, I, like that's your own fault if you're that into it, you know. <laughs> he threatened suicide yeah. before, and, and she 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 be, continues to betray him, and then he's like, "Yep, I'm still ready to kill myself at any moment." <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Also, point out how stupid it is. Like, oh, uh, well, a lot of things are stupid. What? 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 Oh fuck! I forgot what I was talking about. I'm gonna talk about how stupid like, this shit was. Look. But but just like you say, she betrayed him. Like bitch, he he fucking threatened suicide. Leave that guy. Like what? <laughs> you, you're gonna stay around because otherwise he'll kill himself? No. Like be free of him for real. Yeah. Oh okay. I remember. I remember because one of the no. I, I one of the things I wrote down was that. It would have been better if I actually saw how Johnny was affected. Like the idea behind, okay, for for your chat, the the idea behind the room is that a guy is betrayed by the people around him who feels like he's being taken advantage of by uh, his his friends, his fiance, and it culminates in him killing himself. And the problem with this whole setup is that it's all centered in the room. The title of the movie, and we don't really see like uh, there there are rumors that start that sort of ruin his reputation. But every character we see in the fucking film goes, Johnny wouldn't do that, and then he still concludes it. Everyone betrayed him. I'm fed up with his world. <laughs> People are defending him constantly. Him <laughs> yeah, and he still kills himself. Like fuck off. Oh, <laughs> like like, like it, it would be one thing if we see the degradation of his reputation, right? And then I can see him killing himself. But but here he he, he comes across as he's a fucking whiner. And everyone that yeah. when he goes to a fucking shop, he goes, "Oh, Johnny, thank you for dropping by. You're the best guy You're I know." You're my favorite Lottie customer. Lottie la. <laughs> yeah. So naturally, yeah. So it's so fucking annoying. Oh, also, it feels like Johnny is like a retarded Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like Tommy Wiseau feels like a retarded <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger because he, because like he he's fit, right? But there's something wrong with him. Like he has no charisma. And it, it feels like he's not as smart as Arnold because Arnold um, got the he made a million he made a million bucks before he even made it big as an artist because like like an actor because he 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 had a construction shop here I think if I if I read if I remember his really name. wow yeah I yeah he, he, I, he I was, thought he was uh, a bodybuilder or something yeah he was but when he got here he started like a construction gig with one of his fitness friends that that's where, oh, yeah. where he got his money from before when you say when he like got big... here do you mean like thailand yeah yeah from, like from where the, the fuck is yeah. here to you <laughs> what are you talking about like, I mean, look we're all from american Austria. on the <laughs> internet okay like like we're culturally american deal with it okay? uh, that's, yeah. i mean i'm fine with that i was just very confused <laughs> I'm just okay. I've been ranting for a bit because I fucking I, I don't know. Oh, I can well, tell that you are passionate. Interesting. You guys bo- are both passionately against this film in such a negative way. It kind of uh, hurts my heart a little bit that you don't appreciate this like milestone in American filmmaking. Oh, it's, yeah, it's very it's funny so though. Weird. I I see the disaster artist and it's it makes so much sense and like it's such a good movie. But like the actual room is is not a joy at all for me. Uh, in the disaster artist, I don't remember. Is there a scene about what happened on 9/11? I don't think so. Uh, I don't remember. I, I read the book when it came out, but there's a very funny part where it was either 9/11. Ha- it was like the anniversary of 9/11, or maybe it just happened. I don't know something. But uh, like Tommy Wiseau had silence on the set, and he like gave a big speech about how they're not going to let those bastard terrorists uh, fuck up their country or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll find the pack passage and send it to you, but it's very funny from the book. Holy shit! I, I maybe I don't remember. Yeah, it should have been in the movie if it wasn't. Uh, but yeah, Arnold, I guess like he 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 takes the the roles that he gets. You know, he he plays the Terminator because he's like robotic. Tommy Wiseau refuses to play like a sinister guy because he's he just wants to be the hero. But I mean, I guess he's just just too insane and if, if you just make a movie where you don't acknowledge how insane he is then I mean obviously that's that's the obvious problem but I guess you guys I mean you like it at well least. he and wrote a lot of and directed and starred in it Florian like that yeah. this this entire production is the brainchild of an insane man 
And that, that is what makes every single morsel of the film interesting. Why people are just dropping that they have breast cancer and it never comes back up. You'd have to be insane to put that in your movie. To have or, just, or, to just drop that and it never comes up again. There's no logic other, behind that. What about his other movies? Wouldn't they also be genius in that way then? Uh, he... I don't think he's made another movie. He made a TV yeah, show finesse. called Neighbors that, I mean, people watched his other stuff. It's successful enough that it gets released. But uh, The Room was uh, a special moment in time where he thought he was good and tried his <laughs> best and was passionate. And that's why it's a catastrophic failure. You could only do that one time because now he's going to have the self-awareness of, oh, everybody thinks I'm shit. I'll just keep making shit. You know? Yeah. Like, it's I not think. sincere. I, I It comes from a place of sincerity. <laughs> right. Which is which it, which makes it all the more funnier. And th this <laughs> movie, I feel like the story of Johnny is really the story of Tommy. He This mm -hmm. seems like a self-insert. I mean, it would have to be I mean, similar names and everything. Uh, it's I mean, it's, the character is just literally him. He, he thinks of himself as this great man who has done nothing wrong. And at some point in his life, a woman or a friend betrayed him. Probably his woman fucked his best friend in real life in fucking Ethiopia or whatever weird country he's from. He, he won't tell anybody. He comes over to America with all this secret money. We don't know where it came from and produces a movie uh, telling his life story and, and putting his heart out on his sleeve for everybody to see. And the result was everybody laughed and mocked him. And we'll never get an authentic Tommy Wiseau piece of art ever again. That's a shame. What, you didn't like it, did you? I didn't. The room? It was like... Yeah, but yeah. he's gonna... He was gonna lean into it. That's that's Mon Monkey's point. Instead of, like, making Why? something he thought was, gen was genuinely good, but he has no self-awareness to see. That no, it's actually bad. Yeah, I think versus, you're, how, like, how, Florian, how I think you're missing. You I think you're if, missing if you something like here because, because the authenticity of the utter disaster of the film is mm -hmm. art. Like the room is a great yeah. movie that will be remembered forever because of how poorly it was executed. Like it's just <laughs> yeah. so great, and like you can't do that on purpose. Again, and that's why this yeah. is such a rare, unique thing. I don't know how, how we can disagreeing with you when he just said that it was a terrible movie that wasn't enjoyable, right? No, no, the, the, I, it was like an achievement in <laughs> making something genuine, but he didn't know how bad it was. I, yeah, I, yeah, but, uh, but what, what are we losing if he can't do that? Like, if it's not fun anyway. Well, so let's compare it to other bad movies we've watched before, like the uh, Disaster Movie. You know, that's a good comparison. <laughs> there, There is yeah. not an ounce of actual creative drive in that movie. There's Nobody uh -huh. was passionately writing out their life story to create that. And nobody was thinking for years and years of, oh, I need to make this movie. This will be my passion project. That's a piece of shit that they made in three weeks. Okay, that's a that's that's the quality of bad movie that comes out all the time. The Room mm -hmm. is a bad movie that somebody crafted and lived a whole life of experiences to create. It, it, like we're, we're not going to get something like this again. I mean, I definitely prefer the disaster movie, but okay. That's too, well, then you're in luck cuz that kind of shit gets shoveled to us on a daily fucking basis. Go download Tubi. They post eight movies like that a day. Enjoy, Florian. You, you, you're living a fucking uh, all-you-can-eat <laughs> buffet of great movies for your life, but uh, unfortunately for the rest of us, we only get I mean, little morsels just, every now and then. I mean, they're both quite terrible, you know? Like, they'll, they'll, they'll be literally anything else that's better. No, I'm going to give I mean, The Room a five-star letterbox review. That's what it means to You know to what? Me. I... I think there's one movie that's worse, and that's the the Teen Titans movie we watched. Okay, because that one has like not not an ounce of creativity. So at least so that, that showed me worse. Space Jam. I, still giving that one a five out of ten. I oh, think wow. Skin and is worse. I, yeah, oh, I agree. Skin and is worse. Yeah, that was definitely worse. <laughs> I forgot because I don't consider that a movie. Yeah. Oh, um, fucking fucking Tommy Wiseau has money. He he filmed this on like film print. He like, filmed he it with two to... cameras simultaneously for no reason. <laughs> the whole <laughs> thing. Like he really had, he really thought he was. I'm f when he was destroying the room with, with his like righteous rage, and he's like, "God, forgive me." And then he shot. <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't cry at that moment, right? Like, From laughter. Like, who... Yeah. 
And everyone just managed to come in for whatever fucking reason. Mm-hmm. And the best friend's like, leave me alone. Leave leave and then he comes back anyway like the script is so funny mm-hmm. remember the psychiatrist guy guys when he was like i need you to help us you're the psychiatrist and then and then and then mark when, tries to throw him off fr- the roof no 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 the best friend guy go- has a rant and then tommy why and then the psychiatrist guy has a suggestion and then johnny goes why do you keep playing psychiatrist <laughs> like he th- yeah the he same thing he that. requested a minute ago yeah, he fucking wrote that. <laughs> well, I like how how we in the in the disaster artist we've shown the the actors performing that scene competently, and then Tommy Wiseau's guys, no, show some emotion, and then he 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 acts out how he wants them to do it, and then they they film the horrible stupid scene instead. Oh my god, yeah, he he definitely had a vision that one. I don't know. It's... Mm-hmm. Uh, are there any other scenes that are coming to mind that you guys want to discuss? Hmm. I mean, I guess uh, like one scene that was mildly entertaining was when when the girl told everyone to go party outside so that she could make out with the with her fling, you know, while everyone was partying outside. And then who comes in? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I, I read somewhere that the the guy who played the psychiatrist quit. And that was supposed to be him. Yeah, they replaced so him the with the un- guy who kind of looks like Mark Ruffalo for the <laughs> yeah. like the party scene. Yeah, and he's like, who's this fucker, right? Like, who the fuck? Why are you inserting yourself in the movie all of a sudden? Well, I have a theory here because we we have this Lisa character who is a complete sociopath. She is betraying Johnny, which is a big no-no, and she's constantly lying about things. At the party, I don't remember. It's been a week since I watched this again, and I might have been drinking. Uh, did she, she lies about being pregnant at the party, right? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. does. Yeah, so I, actually, I don't know. I think it might have been Tommy who said it, but she told him. But she, like, admits that she's not pregnant and, like, she's lying. I, yeah. I don't remember when she admits it. Hmm. Uh, I thought she did. I might be making that up, but... You know. Well, she admits it at some point. I don't know if it, she if she admits it to everyone, though. Well, if we're going to analyze this character, perhaps this is a... It, 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 things do make more sense in the movie than we're giving it credit for, if we actually think about it. If Lisa is such a crazy sociopath, this might be a the apple does not fall far from the tree scenario where the mother, you know, if, if the daughter, if the fruit of this tree is so spoiled and rotten, perhaps the tree itself is just as bad. Could the mother also be a deranged sociopath who just wants attention? She loves betraying her family and the people who mean the most to her. <laughs> is she lying about breast cancer just to emotionally manipulate her daughter? I mean, be surprised. I mean, didn't it's not what I said earlier, but yeah, I mean, it's probably true. yeah. But you didn't go on a ten-minute rant to lead up to the same conclusion like I did, Florian. <laughs> We're trying to fill up time here. <laughs> well, see, the the thing is that the mother is is portrayed as being really sympathetic to Tommy, and then she's like a complete cunt to her own daughter. She's like, <laughs> oh, he's hitting her? Uh, still marry him. Yeah, like, what, she's telling everybody in her life yeah. that her fiancé is beating her, and they say, oh, d- either Tommy wouldn't do that, or, eh, it's whatever, he has money. <laughs> he works at the bank. I mean, I don't know how many people she allegedly told, but... I mean, I, I think we only see her telling her mother. Yeah, but then uh, even uh, Johnny's walking around like, oh, I did not hit her. I did not. You know, he's just saying it to anybody who's listening. Oh. <laughs> well, hi, Ma. Yeah. No, it's so weird. It's either pe- people don't believe her and he's still defending himself. And uh, yeah, it's just so fucked because we don't see the consequences of it. Not really. <laughs> you know, but is this not a red pill movie? Because she is objectively lying. Johnny, of course, would not hit her, even though she makes him a delicious uh, d- dank drink combo of like two extremely harsh, bitter alcohols together, I believe. Something that you probably would not mix and then call delicious. Um, but he, yeah, he, she does get him drunk. I don't think he would ever hit Lisa. And the red pill of the movie is any woman could do this to any of us at any time. They could just lie and say, he hit me and your life is ruined like it happened to Johnny. Did uh, Tommy Wiseau have to flee his country of origin because of a false domestic abuse charge? Wow. Probably. I mean, we we should we should ask him. There's absolutely no way. (laughs) Florian, what if one of your sugar babies said that you hit her and you did not? What would you do about it? 
I mean, like, why would that happen? Exactly. Why did it happen to Tommy, dude? Why do people get in fucking car wrecks? You don't get a plan for this <laughs> shit. It just happens. I mean, you're, it's likely to be accused of any other crime. Hey, I mean, I, we I just know. saw a, a brilliant, dramatic depiction of this scenario happening, Florian. You can't feign no, no. ignorance here. It happens. <laughs> I mean, he didn't suffer any consequences from this, so whatever. <laughs> like, nah, also, Monkey, <laughs> I take offense. I, I fucking take offense when you said it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, it really, this might be like a, a pro incel, pro MGTOW movie. Like, look what happens if you, tr if you open your heart to a, a blonde woman. She'll fuck your best friend. Oh She'll accuse you of, of violence that you didn't do. She'll ignore her mother's cancer. You know, don't women are, <laughs> women be crazy and they be shopping. Yeah, women are harlots. Yeah. Get away I mean, from I mean, them. Everyone's crazy in this movie. And if if Tommy Vaiso says that he was falsely accused or he was betrayed, I don't fucking believe him. Like, we, we see what he thinks <laughs> is the betrayal in Disaster Artist. It's like, oh, you, you want to do like a, a three day shoot in Malcolm in the Middle? Betrayal! I'll never allow it. It's like, wow, this fucking guy is so insane. <laughs> like, he will, he will literally assume that anything is a betrayal against him, okay? Yeah, it's not even true. I, I don't think he even realizes that it's happening, right? Like, it, it, it his comprehension of reality is very different, I think, <laughs> for, 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 for Mars. So I guess Get I guess everyone who thinks that that MGTOW and stuff is real, I guess they're all on the level of Tommy Wiseau. So it, it all makes sense. There, I guess. Oh, I guess. Just a just a side a side rant. I, I saw some MGTOW. I don't know if it was one of my our our friends or so, some guy that commented. There was a MGTOW guy that says, "Oh, women, look at women. Women are look at how slutty she dresses." And then some guy just comments and goes. For a guy who says MGTOW, all your like all your tweets are about how women are bad instead of like men improving themselves. Yeah, he's not going <laughs> his own way very much. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. can I just say that the script needed a lot of editing? Because <laughs> no way. There, there, there's a pattern. There's a fucking pattern. Because like, okay, what the um, man, man and woman fuck woman is still unsatisfied with her life she calls some guy and then she rants to her mother and then the fucking thing just repeats with slight variations it's it's mind-boggling that I mean, he thought this was fucking exciting like, i mean there's only like four sex scenes right yeah and they're all yeah, in but... the first 20 minutes <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of back-to-back -back long sex scenes where they play <laughs> an entire three minute love song while he's humping yeah. her fucking stomach yeah, when he's betraying her, then we're gonna have a love song The <laughs> entire fucking song! And then, Florian, Florian, I don't know the layout of your apartment, but would you ever consider fucking a sugar baby on the spiral staircase? <laughs> Ouch! Uh, probably not, but Who yeah, fucks on like, the stairs, Florian? My back! I just, I just gotta say that, that humping the stomach is very sexy, okay? True. You, you guys You're fair. That's fair to say, Florian. That's, that's why, where the baby- you have to pump the baby into the stomach, right? Where else would you Oh, put that's it? why. Yeah, that's how I yeah. do it. Yeah! Right? Oh, that's yeah. not how the sex happens. What, I go with the baby to be in the butt? Ew. <laughs> what, yeah, a poop baby? The worst. <laughs> we got enough of those over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> poop babies. Oh, you, no. You tell me what that means, Florian. <laughs> well, Florian, I was hoping that you would have really been moved and captivated by this film more, but it seems that the the grandeur of it has, you know, really fallen away for you. So do you have any other thoughts on The Room? Because we don't have to stay on this uh, for too long. I really just wanted to get your thoughts on the film. I mean, yeah, like, like I said, the, the main reason to watch The Room is because you can watch the superior movie, The Disaster Artist. And I, I guess, like, if you ever end up watching it, like at least you'll have the disaster artist to to look forward to. I don't know. It's maybe I'm biased. Maybe it's like, oh, this guy's got all the autisms that I see myself, and that's why everyone thinks he's a joke. Cool. Thanks, yeah, I guys. I did uh, I did imply that you would relate to the character of Johnny yeah. um, when I introduced this. So I I'm glad you are admitting that you and Tommy Wiseau might have some similar mental deficiencies, maybe. 
Yeah, that's definitely how Ballfrog was created, you know? I... It's basically you're the room. From, from a place, <laughs> from a place of betrayal, did you feel like you were fed up? Were like, you I've, so fed up with the world that I, you made I, I will this make ball them frog? Rotate, I will make them rotate the mouse. It's the only way they get to move. Mm -hmm. Damn it! I, I will show them. I will make a move. <laughs> I will make game where it's very hard to move, and it's a ball. That's a frog. Oh. That's well, famously, my... like Tommy Wiseau <laughs> is. Uh, like... <laughs> Tommy Wiseau is just doing a cheap imitation of better art. Like when he says, you're tearing me apart, Lisa, he's directly like doing a line from a better movie, a better actor, of course. And really, that's kind of what Bullfrog is. Like Florian played a good <laughs> game, getting over it, and he thought, oh, I could make a shittier version of this for sure. Yeah, and, you go and he play went out and did. Over it. Yeah, it's I a better see game. Over Superior. It. Yeah. Superior yeah, game. I want to see you play it. No Please. frogs at all. No spinning the mouse. Oh, you spin the mouse uh -oh. in that game. Uh oh, oh you spin okay. the mouse in, <laughs> I, I in the other game. Don't also pretend like I know here. how the fuck to play this shit, dude. I don't know. Oh, never you have to shit. play that game now. <laughs> I'm not it's playing happening. this fucking dog shit. It's it's worse than Bullfrog, and you have to play it now. <laughs> Unlikely. That's like saying a movie's worse than uh, Wasted Hours. Well, I guess we'll just put it on the list, and then people have to vote for it, you know? We should do a, a poll um, who's. Whose masterpiece is the worst? Kino Corner's Wasted Hours, Florian's <laughs> Ballfrog, or what mine would be my book? <laughs> wow. Yeah, who who mm. who screwed the pooch the most? Who fucked up? Damn, I have Wait, I have to make my own thing now. Just, yeah, you, just just to yeah, add to the collection. The piece. Weekend. Yeah, yeah, what is your disaster piece? What is your your crown no, jewel? I, I still have to make one cuz cuz I have to venture into new media. Hmm. Yeah, just yeah. hire L a L like, film like, from from yeah. your millions that you've made. Yeah, you as know? a as a side doctor, <laughs> yeah. turning lady boys to lady men. Yeah, so <laughs> oh. I'll, oh. I'll find a way. I, I will make a, a Filipino movie. I mean, you that, could just that... really botch a sex change operation, and that'll be your the room. You create an actual third gender by mistake. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Then you'll just hear about it in the newspapers, like <laughs> some guy got his license taken from him. Yeah, Anti doctor invents and, and then I was genital. Just, That's not true. It's bullshit. <laughs> I did not change him. I did not. Yeah, you, you, you just make his his penis into a donut shape, you know? And sure. Yeah. yeah, I don't even want to know what's going on there, Florian. <laughs> it just comes in a circle, you know. Oh, he'll he won't be coming after that surgery. Yeah. Uh, do we have any oh, final boy. thoughts on uh, El Rumo, Rated R? Mm. Well, I mean, I yeah, I finally watched it. The whole... Everyone telling me, oh, you're gonna watch The Room. It's a brilliant masterpiece. Mm. I you think Florian... Passion? Oh, Florian, yeah, listen. Are. The mistake here, of course, and there's nothing we could have done about this, is that The Room is best viewed for the first time in a room full of friends, that's how most people do it, because somebody's showing it to them. When you have like eight people who have never seen it and they don't know what to expect, like they will be laughing together and like just questioning the absurdity of the reality presented in the film and, and quoting it at each other. Uh, the fact that you sat probably alone, you know, in your room in the dark watching it, not a friend in the world, uh, you didn't really have anybody to share in the mirth. Florian, well, that least, might have been the issue. The sex scenes were fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, I, I did um, make the mistake of once upon a time trying to watch this with my parents, and they they did give <laughs> up on sex scene number two. So big mistake. Damn, how could they not see the production Damn. quality? Huh? Yeah, so I thought they could see the magic. I forgot yeah. my mom has never enjoyed a film. <laughs> oh, just Every you know, period. End of sentence, movie. right there. No, just she has never enjoyed a movie. There's always like something Like any movie? Far. Any movie. They're too long, I think. What? <laughs> maybe, she, maybe she should see the Mario movie. Maybe she she watches Days of Our Lives, dude. That's what she likes. It's a fucking soap Wait. opera. Wait, I haven't watched your review of Mario. Did you guys like it? We did not do a review, and I don't think we will. Oh. Well, I okay. did a review. Well, I oh, meant is it like Kino, it? for fuck's sake, Florent. Your, your review that came out literally 20 minutes before we started recording that we could not have possibly finished watching. No, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but go ahead, okay, Florian. I guess we're plugging it. it. Florian, plug your great new video. Yeah, ever check out. I made a video that's one hour and, and 10 minutes, and it's all about this these several critics who are just completely wrong about the Mario movie and uh, just having a great time talking about them, okay? It's... 
a it's a good time. Watch my video on anti reviews. Yeah, that woman Grace Randolph, and for, I've watched about twenty minutes of your video so far, and so far it's just uh, responding to her. So I guess if somebody else pops, then I'll be curious. But this uh, Grace Randolph bitch. Um, I, I don't remember specifically what she did, but I know Andy Signor has a beef with her. I would imagine she reported, oh, really? <laughs> maybe she reported some things about him that weren't true. And after he proved them wrong, she refused to retract or apologize for her story. Um, that's what I think happened. I might be just making the same mistake and reporting false information like she did, but <laughs> get fucked, bitch. Your voice was annoying. And Florian's right, you're a big retard. Like, she said some of the dumbest things I've ever heard. She did not know that Bowser is known for kidnapping Princess Peach? I'm pretty she sure my grandmother could tell you that. Yeah, yeah. she's so out of touch, she won't believe it. <laughs> Please. Unbelievably uh, ignorant to the world around her. Uh, she's worse touch. than Tommy Wiseau, Grace Randolph. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's 80 stories up in this fucking New York sky rise. Please jump out the window. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Well, it's, not, it's normally not this bad, but this movie- In this, Minecraft! This, this is, in real life, so jump out of your window ever. and just Whoa. hope and pray that there's a trampoline at the bottom. I'm not saying what has to happen when you hit the ground. I'm just saying, try to fly. Oh, oh my god, I love how she's offended that they're doing a New York accent when she's, like, sitting in front- out. In, the, in her sky rise, and you see, like, the beauty of where she's like, at, and it's like, oh, don't make fun of us. New York people, come on! How can you be offended at this? It's so insane. Yeah, sitting in her place of privilege uh, with the shittiest fucking New York, New York accent I've ever heard in my life, complaining about Chris Pratt's uh, delightful Pratt. rendition. <laughs> yeah, it was. He was. It was cute. I liked it. I must be deaf to New York accents because they have them so much in movies. Them. <laughs> okay, you want to hear a flawless New York accent? Do it. Hey, I am walking here. Nice. Damn. Yeah, I, I totally noticed yeah. that accent. That's right. Uh, weekend, what would you like to plug? I'd like to plug my efforts in making a video. It's for the Hogwarts Legacy. It's, it's taking a while to cook, but it's getting there. By the time and you finish, maybe that fucking Harry Potter TV show will be out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I really should finish that shit. Oh mm. my god. Yeah, uh. is anybody even talking about this game anymore? No, but I still want to do it. the boat. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Well, yeah, kind of like our, gonna, the like... Velma videos we were going to make. I think we missed those boats. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm Velma still going to do the Hogwarts because I said I was going to do it. Did that not get yeah. lots of views? It did, but it's like, eh, if I made a Velma review now, it's like, eh, it's two months yeah. too late. Oh, right, but we did review every episode. Like, so. I meant, you know, a video oh, video. Him? Like an analysis. Oh, gonna, gonna I think it depends because... Like a shout out to my to a good buddy of mine online, like uh, CJ Critical Reviews. He he did a he did a live action review of Velma that came out in like April. Oh, and it live did well. Action. Yeah, cynical reviews. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. I'm just gonna plug it because it's really it's, it's a funny video. So that, it, it that's your plug out, is for like, your friends video. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna plug. It's not my, my the Hogwarts thing isn't out yet. I'm not like I keep getting. Comments saying, "Oh, when's it, when's it coming out? We can like I I feel bad because it's not out yet." So well, guess what? You don't know these motherfuckers a single thing. Weekend, they keep bitching. <laughs> Where's the new video? Where's your new video, Heartsy? Huh? Where's your new <laughs> video, Toot? How about you make some fucking videos and send them to me to watch? To bitch at me, motherfucker. <laughs> so, when That's it's out, I'll say. Just Okay, okay, noted. <laughs> you send me something to watch. I make podcasts for you three times a week. <laughs> well, at least I got weekly uploads on anti-reviews, you know, not like these lazy guys. So true. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm so glad I finally have this channel so now I can review topical movies when they come out. You know, I hope something will be a big meme soon. Hmm. Yeah, one day oh, we will get you it. over that 1,000 subscriber threshold, Florian. <laughs> wait, why does... Oh, when wait. I type anti-reviews, Matt Walsh pops up. What? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Even. Yeah, Matt Walsh reviews and yeah. anti Matt Not the Walsh best TikToks. ISO over there, Florian. Yeah, I need yeah. to. I need to get more views so I can beat Matt Walsh. Come on! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, wow, the, the war is on. 
Yeah, subscribe, please. I need it. I need it. Well, I have a link to that in the description and I guess whatever <laughs> random video weekend is shilling here. Um, guys, we don't have to do a vote because I we're being forced by someone's hand to come back <laughs> for the Hobbit Battle of Five Armies. So should we just do a poll for that one or should we do one real quick right now and, and get to it in a month? I mean, we could we do a do poll, that. sure. Yeah. Did you guys have uh, ideas? Because I did not come prepared, so you're really going to trounce oh, me this well, time. Well, I oh, have damn. some ideas, but the question, should we put something on the list that's really obscure? Because Weekend keeps putting his really obscure stuff on there, and we never get votes for it, because we always put something that people have heard on before. So how do you define obscure, then? Because if we're going to do, like, an obscure poll, I'm fine with that. I just need to know, how do I choose? I mean, I guess if we're gonna do obscure, then I would recommend something that's not super obscure. It's called The Platform on on Netflix. Do you guys think that would be obscure enough? I think so, because it's the first time I've heard of it. Uh, what I is mean, I it, guess Florian? Netflix Pitch it to on. us. Well, it's, it's this great movie that's, for some reason, in Spanish, but I guess you can watch it with dubs if you're like me. It's about this this really weird prison where, where people just are in... <laughs> they're just in this weird layered prison and every day there's this platform that brings them food but the platform goes throughout the entire prison and the, the people at the top get all the food and the, and they, they gorge themselves and then uh, when so it it's a very bottom, lazy metaphor for capitalism it, it stretched oh, oh, out to a feature film oh it's the clumsiest metaphor for, for <laughs> capitalism ever and I, I just might as well be it, watching you know? the fucking purge <laughs> I mean, hmm. like, it's actually it's good. good. I, I don't know. Hmm. I feel oh, okay. Like if it's good, it's good. Out. I mean, I'll watch it if it wins. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. You guys got any obscure recommendations? Uh, Wait, uh, I will. Does it count as obscure it. if uh, just nobody in the modern day has probably seen it, but it's like from a renowned filmmaker and it's probably won all kinds of awards? I mean, what is it? Uh... Akira Kurosawa's uh, Ron, R-A-N. Oh, hell yeah. I watched that. It's uh, pretty big. Well, is that obscure enough if uh, Weekend immediately knew what it was? Probably not. Uh, no, it's, I mean, mine's I think it's still obscure. obscure. Yeah, I, mean, I know for a fact they're I not going to vote for it, so I'm just going to put it on anyway. But uh, I think it's, it's obscure enough. It's yeah. a, I feel like it'll win, though. It's okay. an, uh, an adaptation of King Lear, which is uh, oh. the most tragic of Shakespeare's plays, and in my opinion, as a humble English major, uh, I think that Akira Kurosawa's Ron improves on the source material and is, in fact, a better piece of art than King Lear itself, and I fucking well, love that movie. Well, that's good, because I think King Lear is, is not actually that, that interesting by itself, so I, I, I definitely want to see this now. Cool. <laughs> uh, what are you going to put on Weekend? Um, can I put it? Can I still put in Neroi? Because I think that's. Are you gonna try again? <laughs> yeah, why not? Sure. I mean, I guess this is the whole reason why I wanted this. So sure. <laughs> yeah, that works. Hell yeah. So did All we right. do uh, it, your movies Wait. in Spanish, right? Wait, re Florian? remind me what this movie is. Uh, yeah, Neroi. I think it is in Spanish. It's Neroi's it's about a cursed videotape. Yeah, there it is. It, oh. But it's filmed very interestingly. That's why I liked it. Oh, no. I hope it doesn't do, like, really stupid camera movements all the time. It, oh, no, I don't think so. It, I okay, think it, well, that's good. <laughs> so it, I guess... It's like a mix uh, between... Oh, yeah. Well, nah, it it sounds like no, no matter it, no. what wins here, uh, the channel will lose. This will be the least viewed episode we've had in months. <laughs> Like, even if people vote for this, nobody's gonna give a fuck. Who's gonna want to listen to a, rev a review of some obscure ass movie nobody's ever heard of? But you know I'm what? So I'm glad good. Florian thought of this. You know, who wants to hear our review of Mario anyway? Fuck it. Let's do. Oh, do you want. Do you let's want, do the yeah, platform. I can, I, do you want me to plug in obscure movie Mario Brothers? <laughs> we might. I mean, I want the original one. I'm just thinking, you know, the health of the series. This podcast might be over after a few more real dud episodes come out. We might be fucked. What, are we losing a subscriber? Yeah, we posted cringe. Well, I, oh, no. Did we know? I was declining. <laughs> yeah, everybody are, are, said Kurosawa. People... That's cringe. I, no way. I'll never yeah, watch that. Are people, are people fed up with this world? <laughs> yeah, I they, think they're going to shoot I themselves think, in the head. Like, we don't do enough, like, <laughs> crazy. We, we don't have enough obscure movies. I think we can do, uh, do like, one or two. I mean, uh, we did Irreversible, and that, like, performed worse than the Breaking Bad <laughs> review podcast. <laughs> 
You know, we do well, obscure that was, movies that, that nobody gives a fuck about all the time. Shit, you're right. Okay, well, I mean, like... Skin and Marink, guess... nobody give a fuck, and they voted oh, for that geez. one. Well, well, actually, no, they well, didn't vote for that one. That was oh, yeah, Weekend's fault. Well. Yeah, I did it. I, it I told rigged. people. Yeah, it was rig, rig of my role. Oh, yeah. Uh, rig Florian, of my ring. <laughs> Florian, you said we should punish Weekend for that. So have you thought of any punishments? <laughs> hey, this is this is punishment enough, my guy. No, <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, okay, what's what's my punishment? Yeah, what's then? his punishment, you're Florian? Feeling... You're the punishment council. Oh, okay. Well, I, w I was really curious about the Human Centipede 3, so I think that, that we can ah! give us his review of the Human Centipede 3. <laughs> oh my fuck next... you! Oh my fucking god! You just, like, write a book oh, report? Oh no, yes. Have the read a book <laughs> report? Oh fuck you, okay, A three-page chat GPT fine. book report on this, uh, Human Centipede 3? <laughs> Fine, I'll fucking accept it. It's probably punishment. inappropriate. He has to do it himself. Yeah, the the oh very first line God. of his book report is gonna see, is gonna say, as an AI-based text algorithm, I cannot write your homework. <laughs> However, <laughs> oh my God, human centipede free? Or do you want me to? Uh, I'm just gonna. If I'm gonna have yeah. to do it, I'm just gonna make money out of it and just yeah, talk yeah, about actually, this whole fucking you know thing. What? You know, let's do all three. You, you've yeah. earned it. God yeah, damn. yeah, I've earned it. I mean, I'm not. Really I'm not. Forcing this punishment on you, but it sounds like you're accepting it, so... Yeah, I'm accepting no, you, you it. You can it's just do three. It's, <laughs> it's fair, it's fair. Okay, well, I, I'll have a poll up on the community tab, uh, I guess the day after this comes out, so everybody can go vote for these obscure movies. <laughs> and well, uh, it looks like E-Rich is ready for us to go record Breaking Bad, so we better hurry up. Well, I guess okay, we should yeah. next time then try to actually have movies that, that people want to see and that they'll vote for so i guess yeah no we'll, shit we'll get more views <laughs> do, do, you, do you want next time we're doing one? the hobbit we, we, battle of five armies this podcast is fucked for the next month wait hey, wait 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 okay okay. One, okay 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 monkey what what about this let's have the audience tell us what movies they would like us to see and then we'll think about it for for aside from the poll yeah sure yeah like, post in audience, the comments what movies yeah. you'd like us to review yeah, yeah. And then upvote that comment, I guess, which one you agree with. Yeah, and if we agree with yeah, them, we'll bring them in for the next poll. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I guess we'll just add it to the poll, then we'll have four options. That's cool. Okay, right, well, everybody, Sounds good. we just wasted half the time not talking about the room, so <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye. bye.